as humans, we've created a lot of problems for ourselves with technology. And one of them is that we've done nuclear power, which is by and large a good thing, but it creates lots of waste that is going to continue to be harmful to humans for a long, long time, on the orders of 10 or 20,000 years, let's say. That is longer than any one human language lasts. Human languages come and go and evolve and fade away much faster than that. But we have created this problem, and it's going to be a problem for people in 10 or 20,000 years. We have a responsibility to warn them about it. How can we communicate this? Um, and that is the job of this, this institute that has been set up, and it has a mandate to try and figure out how we can communicate this concept, you know, you, we've buried something bad here, don't dig here. And there's an extra problem there, because what do people do if you say, we've buried something bad here, don't dig here? They're immediately going to go and dig it up. So this is an image that they created. And if we look at each element of this sign, we can understand why this might be expected to work. So first, we've got a skull. In general, people don't see skulls in real life unless something has gone horribly wrong. So a skull and we can assume that people in 10, 20,000 years will have pretty similar skulls to ours. This could be broadly understood as a general sign of bad, no bueno. Similarly, 10 to 20,000 years in the future, we can assume that people will have a very similar body map to us, not enough time to like get any extra legs or anything. The really hard bit to communicate is ionizing radiation. It's a very specific abstract concept. What they've come up with is this, the symbol for, for nuclear radiation, um, and then these sort of rays emanating from it with these arrows. And this, I think, is the part that's hardest to communicate intrinsically. And taken as a whole, there's good reason to think that this symbol might convey some of what we're trying to convey with it. However, it could also mean when snakes come out of the ceiling fan, run away from the pirates. <laughs> 